for the other evening, a few of us had the grace to participate in the showing of relics, that ministry by the companions, that father from the companions of the cross, in which he brings the treasures of the church around, 167 relics. And during the presentation, he told the story of St. Maria Goretti and her assailant, Alessandro Serenelli. And in reading the first reading from the prophet Ezekiel, it really reminds me of Alessandro Serenelli. The prophet Ezekiel says, Thus says the Lord God, If the wicked man turns away from all the sins he committed, if he keeps all my statutes and does what is right and just, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the crimes he committed shall be remembered against him. He shall live because of the virtue he has practiced. Do I indeed derive any pleasure from the death of the wicked, says the Lord God? Do I not rather rejoice when he turns from his evil way that he may live? And so Alessandro, at the beginning of his life, chose the evil way. And having chosen with his free will the evil way, he became a wicked man. You see how what we choose, the choices we make, make us who we are. And so he became a wicked man and did an evil and wicked thing to St. Maria Goretti. When he was 19 years old, filled with passion for the 11-year-old Maria, he demanded that she give in to his desires. And when she said no, he stabbed her nine times with a farm tool, had a blade on it about eight inches long, stabbed her nine times and left her for dead. And in fact, she wasn't dead and still managed to crawl over to the door and flip the latch and make an effort to make one cry out for help. But Alessandro, being next door, heard her flip the latch, went back, and stabbed her an additional five times. And even after that, she still wasn't dead, but was eventually brought to the hospital and, and died there. And before she died, she forgave him. She forgave Alessandro for what he did. And so Alessandro would be convicted for that crime and sent to a prison term that was supposed to last for 30 years. And while he was in prison, he was a bad man, right? Always causing fights. And after six years, he was on, he found himself on the brink of despair. All right, almost insane. When St. Maria Goretti appeared to him and renewed her forgiveness for him, handing him 14 lilies, symbolic of the 14 wounds that she suffered at his hands, and that was the beginning of a conversion for Alessandro. All right, he repented of his sins, changed his life, became a model prisoner, and for that reason was let out three years early. And after he got out of prison, went and apologized to St. Maria Goretti's mother, whose name was Maria Sunta, and she too accepted his apology and forgave him for what he did. He then went and became um, either a lay brother or a third order member of the Capuchin Franciscans and spent the rest of his life there leading a good, holy, simple life. And so there we have it, the wicked man turning from his evil way, God not desiring his death, but desiring his conversion. And so we finish by reading the last testament of Alessandro Serenelli. He wrote this on May 5th, 1961, believing that he was about to die, but in fact, 
He would live until May 6, 1970. And he writes, I'm nearly 80 years old. I'm about to depart. Looking back at my past, I can see that in my early youth, I chose a bad path, which led me to ruin myself. See that? He chose the bad path, and he ruined himself, became a wicked man. My behavior was influenced by print, mass media, and bad examples, which are followed by the majority of young people without even thinking. And I did the same. I was not worried. Right, now think about back in those times, what was available to the youth by print and mass media, and what's available today, all right? How many Alessandro Serenellis is the impure media forming today? Right, that's a very, very worrisome. There were a lot of generous and devout people who surrounded me, but I paid no attention to them because a violent force blinded me and pushed me toward a wrong way of life. When I was 20 years old, I committed a crime of passion. Now that memory represents something horrible for me. Maria Goretti, now a saint, was my good angel, sent to me through providence to guide and save me. I still have impressed upon my heart her words of rebuke and of pardon. Right, her words of rebuke that was before his crime. Maria Goretti kept telling him, no, that is a sin, you will go to hell. She kept saying that, refusing and rebuking him with those words. That is a sin, you will go to hell. See the supernatural intention she was motivated by? Thus she is the martyr of purity. So she rebuked him, but she also gave words of pardon. She forgave him before she died. She forgave him six years after he entered prison by appearing to him. She prayed for me. She interceded for her murderer. Thirty years of prison followed. If I had been of age, that is, if he was 21 years old, I would have spent all my life in prison. I accepted to be condemned because it was my own fault. Right? He was influenced by bad print, mass media, and the bad example of friends, but still had free will. He chose the bad path. Little Maria was really my light, my protectress. With her help, I behaved well during the 27 years of prison and tried to live honestly when I was again accepted among the members of society. The brothers of St. Francis, Capuchins from the Marches, welcomed me with angelic charity into their monastery as a brother, not as a servant. I've been living with their community for 24 years, and now I am serenely waiting to witness the vision of God, to hug my loved ones again, and to be next to my guardian angel and her dear mother, Asunta. I hope this letter that I wrote can teach others the happy lesson of avoiding evil and of always following the right path like little children. I feel that religion with its precepts is not something we can live without, but rather it is the real comfort, the real strength in life, and the only safe way in every circumstance, even the most painful ones of life. Signed, Alessandro Serenelli. Saint Maria Goretti, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.